welcome back to the. Oh, 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 welcome back to the. I don't know how to do this. It's so random. This is a welcome back to the goons. Welcome, welcome back, back to the bangos. Welcome back to the. Primal beats to sonar hip hop. <laughs> Editor implode the podcast. I love how you're reaching over yourself to play this. I know. <laughs> I screwed over, but this is like this is so much fun. You look like you're about to fall out of your fucking chair. <laughs> Playing that Ocean Gate type beat. <laughs> that Titan sub type beat. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Let's go. Welcome back to this. I can't believe all four of us are here. Yep. Know, how long has it been? Somebody knows. One yeah, it's week. It's been. Hasn't no, it last, been one week? Last no, week two it was weeks. two weeks. I wasn't here. One of us gone for a little bit. Well, I was, he I was here. You weren't here on the correct day, son, and I wasn't here on the incorrect day. Dick. So I wasn't balls. here last week. Mm. Alexa, did you guys even do one last week without me? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, nice. Mangles. That's big. We're talking about, about dick shit. About. <laughs> yeah, I can't talking about dick shit? <laughs> that means I don't remember. Oh, okay. I'm sure we probably right. talked about <laughs> current events. <laughs> was there even any current events last week? Is that when they lost the sub? Did uh, you yeah, I, think we talked about I can't remember if it, moments. if it was confirmed while we did the podcast, but we did talk about it, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I feel like it should have been confirmed from, like, the get-go. Like, they're in the bottom of the ocean. They're not, as soon as they deployed, as, it was yeah. confirmed. Yeah, it was confirmed. And that little <laughs> Campbell's can of soup that they went down under. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was just confirmed immediately. Guys, Mr. Incredible. Brest was supposed to be on there. We could have lost Mr. Brest. Are you drinking Baja Blast? <laughs> I'm drinking that Game of Sops, boy! Oh, oh. goons! Early plug! No, that, that looks like you put gasoline inside of a fucking Maybe bottle. I did. Liquefied Shrek. Did. He's just we'll drinking mouthwash. No, not Shrek, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's deficient never in fluoride. Know, pure, never pure know alcohol. when his mom is going to walk in. He's going to have fresh breath. Oh, yeah. Uh, I need a little on the old teat. That is cool. What do I Yes, I gotta be minty to, fresh when I get breast fed. I suck on my mom's tits. I can't have any plaque. His my mom, mom has shoots a, pure Colgate out of her tits. His mom has a minty ass <laughs> fetish, so he has to eat her butt out. In, in, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the fucking tribal chief coming in to tell us no more jokes. We crossed over into dad? incest. Enough of this. <laughs> yeah, his dad. <laughs> Quit eating your mom's, your mom's ass, ass son. <laughs> You're be using Colgate too. <laughs> Mom ass eating song. Why is the tribal chief <laughs> southern? Why is he a redneck? <laughs> <laughs> Just like some fat white, we're like oversized dad with like black paint is, comes in. Our tribes of big old headdress. Various walks. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love All visualizing right. funny stuff like that. Makes me yeah. Think about me in sexual okay. ways way too much. Yeah, I feel too like much. we all I do. Know. I feel like that's fine. I yeah, I don't know. I feel like I wake up and the first thing I think about is do with just a big old veiny dick hanging out. Yeah. I mean, these that's are based on schlanger fiction. I feel like your dick just looks like your arm. Sands the hair. Actually, probably the hair. <laughs> Ew. That's hair too all much down hair. The shaft hair. A dick, a dick <laughs> should not. Wash cock. <laughs> well, there was a there was a kid I went to grade school with, and uh, his is uh, this guy was like making fun of him, and his uh, his rebuttal was, "Well, I bet I have more dick hair than you." And everyone was like, "Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I don't a got roast. No, I don't have any dick hair." <laughs> What do you mean? What's wrong with you? I thought you got smooth balls, pussy. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, everyone called him Harry Dick, so that was cool. Harry Dick? But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That just sounds like a regular name. Like yeah, Harry, was that his Harry full Dick, legal dude? name? Harry Richard. Harry yeah. Dick, yeah. Well, I got, uh, I, th I think I've talked about this guy before. I got, uh, when I worked at the golf course, there was a guy's bag tag, like, for the tournament when he came in, and it was Richard Hare. 
Oh yeah, so Dick his, yeah, his Dick name is, is Richard. Dick yeah, Richard Hare. Richard Hare just goes kind of hard. Be assholes sometimes. Yeah, the thing is, I just how can you look at a baby that comes out of a, a coochie and just go, that looks like a dick. Like that looks like a guy should be named Dick. Or like, Richard. That, there's you know, like, there's names I just yeah. don't get. Like no, who has ever seen a baby come out fresh out of the womb, still crying? Its hair is all jank up, and they go, "That's Paul." No shot. <laughs> that doesn't look like Paul. <laughs> like, it's like what? a man fucking name. Yeah. It's like a grown-ass like, dude. <laughs> like, that's Robert. No, it's not. <laughs> this what is Dave. Mean? Dave the baby. <laughs> oh, baby Dale. <laughs> like, there are certain names. This is my son, <laughs> Ernest. He's two days old. <laughs> like, I That's genuinely so just cannot imagine being a mother handing over my dumbass bald baby that looks like a fucking turkey before it's cooked and just say this is Paul. This is Prescott. Paul the baby. <laughs> Paul the baby. <laughs> Prescott. Yeah. Based on real yeah. people named Prescott. <laughs> it's going to be weird because in like 60 years there's going to be a bunch of old people named like Brantley and Braxton. <laughs> Black. Jake. <laughs> what? Grandpa Jake. Of, Grandpa Jake. There are a lot of there are a lot of B names coming up. What do you mean? Yeah, it's like a uh, there's. I feel like there's a certain type of name that kind of like, uh, like Southern Doesn't age well people go. Yeah, well that too. But I've just heard a lot of like a little like little boy names named Brantley and Braxton, and they're always just Why are you like up little boy names. Are you just, pregnant? Just are you, yeah, are you pregnant? Are you showing? Yeah, southern southern uh, baby names are pretty awful. Like, like new, the Brittons and yeah. the Braxtons. Like, it's like, where are you coming from? It sounds like you're dropping wood off of a bridge, and that's the sound <laughs> it made. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Braxton! <laughs> I'm Braxton! Hello! What bitch named? <laughs> Why is it like a ringer? <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, Weird. that's why I'll never have a kid. That single reason, only reason I don't want a kid. I'm yeah, not the name it. Dude. Do, oh, do any of you actually? Do any of you kids? guys want kids? Someday. No, uh, not for yeah. a long maybe, time. Maybe dude, you know, day. you know, sex has to happen. What? You have to do that for the woman. <laughs> I can't make one of the dudes. Oh, dude's gonna get pregnant. Dude's gonna get pregnant. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll be the first be the actual mom. pregnant man. Yeah. I think can you, you could pull my, that off. It's like, can you guys hear my fan blowing right now? No. Blow quieter. Shut okay, up, good. bitch. In before. No, no, no in before, not that. Not yeah. the, that was a genuine question, so I don't ruin the whole podcast with, like, <laughs> s the background. Blar getting I head on the podcast. Let's yeah. go. It's a little Respect. sloppy from a fan on the podcast. Res Respected. A little bit of fan fans, sloppy. sloppy Is that a, a Minions fan. lunchbox? Are that's you been, now just that's looking at that? has been on for forever. I thought that that was just, millennia. like, a... I'm just now realizing it's a lunchbox. I thought it was just, like, an action figure head. No, that's that's been there forever. Wow, that's awesome. You I noticed that shelf is getting it? more and more no. populated. What do you mean more and more? No, he's uh, he's kind of been like that forever. No, no, no. I mean, well, like, since the, I moved the shelf down. is getting Ralph. more and more populated. Sorry. Like, what do you mean? With stuff. I haven't added anything to it since oh, I moved really? in, really. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe it's just like more in view now. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, is I don't think I've added anything. Is that a 100K plaque? That, what there's the should be a couple of them up there, I think. And then uh, I also asked YouTube for the goons one, and they say, yeah, for sure. And oh, I just yeah, never I got it. Nice. <laughs> don't cool. you, Soup, you have the original. Or you have Goons Gaming, don't you? Yeah, I stole the Goons, goons Gaming, gaming yeah. As soon as I saw that pop hell, up, buddy. I was like sitting there refreshing the page to steal it from <laughs> So I got it first. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the ones I have up there is, I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure. Well, you, the fucking, uh, so I didn't realize all that happens when you hit 100K is like, you get the ability to buy one. You can put whatever you want on it. Yeah. I, the... The group chat dudes have the goons one. Oh, really? says the oh goons that's right. On it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I remember that. <laughs> yeah. So they have a goons one, and I don't even have a goons one. <laughs> and I'm in the goons. The wrong podcast has the goons on your K play. <laughs> that's it. I'm ordering one, and I'm putting the fucking group chat on it. Hmm. That was breezy. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you actually just the worst? I don't know. <clears throat> I think it's because my brain is just fucking breezy. I got All a right. breezy. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody have anything else? Soup, how was your show yesterday? There you go. Tomorrow, yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was good. We played at the Purple Buffalo. And I got to say that on stage, which was fun. Is that the one we played with, uh, Bro Job? Yeah, we played with Bro Job and some other bands, like local bands. And uh, I got to say the Purple Buffalo. 
a lot. Did you say it rolls just right off the tongue? There was nothing else about. I the just show know you were drunk memorable. saying that all night. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even play your songs. You just stood up there and slammed poetry. <laughs> <and said, laughs> Purple <laughs> buffalo. All it was so lines. much fun to say that on stage before we had like a really heavy part of a song. I'd be like, "Move the purple buffalo." <laughs> 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 The There's actually just the a show. giant purple buffalo in the pit that they need to move out of the way. There wasn't any buffaloes Staying in, in there, which was weird. There was a lot of mannequin <laughs> legs everywhere, though. Like an, a, That's weird. A what? concerning amount of mannequin legs. Where's the rest At of the mannequin? At what point do you reach the concerning yeah, you, amount? Yeah, where's the rest of the mannequin? Uh, like, how do you just th- end like, up with the legs? Pretty covered in I think in the there basement. were like three pairs of mannequin legs, all painted various different colors. Oh, at least they were inclusive. That's there was nice. one of them in like a glass case like towards the back of the venue that took up a good bit of room and i'm like thinking you can even like unload your van because there's just lights in the way (laughs) is the mannequin legs in glass do we need that in the venue like (laughs) do we need that next to the pit i don't know if that's the (laughs) and what Uh, what is that like diamond encrusted why is that one in glass they were it was just like painted like with like strips of paint up and down the legs like they, they were they were white mannequin legs with like Gold and blue and like orange or something on the side of them. It was just what? Sort of, like serial killer vibes going Bro, on. Well, you just don't understand art. You That's true. I don't understand it. art. You just don't get it. That's I, weird I don't, shit. I don't know about that. That's a little odd. Yeah, I feel like there's a red place. flag there. Interesting place. It's always interesting like when, it. when the shows are on a Monday night at a 21 plus bar because that's when, like, in, in an industrial park, you know? Like yeah. In, those, are, those are the shows of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the shows, those are one of them. <laughs> but it was fun. Yeah. I mean, it was a good time. That's good. Cool. How big was the venue? Um, sixty million. I'd probably 60 say million like people with the mannequin legs. I'd, I'd probably <laughs> say like maybe a hundred cap. Okay, so it's all right. I was just expecting this like giant empty room just full of mannequin legs in a stage, like nothing <laughs> else, no bar or anything. Yeah, there was a bar in there. Hell yeah! yeah it, it was basically just a bar that they had a stage at, kind of. Yeah, I like those. I like those venues. Those are kind of fun. Yeah, those are fun. Very good vibe. Very quaint. But that was yes. about it. Yeah. Quaint. <laughs> Is that not the word you would use? I I don't I don't. It's just weird when you're talking about like a place that has mannequin legs. Yeah. <laughs> I just I feel that like quaint true. is like oh this is nice and like cottagey. It's nice and cozy. I wouldn't really put like this dingy bar full of legs is quaint. Complimentary <laughs> legs. Clomp. Why did I say? You should have. T- you should have took one home. Should've took one of their yeah. legs. <laughs> they had them all in cases, dude. You couldn't get them. Yeah. Maybe that's why they had them in the case because there's a lot yeah, of people are taking their legs. <laughs> the mannequin legs. People just won't <laughs> stop taking them. They're all RFID chipped. <laughs> Can track you down. Send Our Jason drummer Bourne climbed up on top of the venue with a chain link fence. That was something fun. He brought happen. a fence with him. Or no, like- there was a there was a massive <laughs> chain link <laughs> fence. Oh, he up against it. the okay. side of the back of the building, and so we, they moved it over. I think him and Ethan oh, moved yeah. it, and he climbed yeah. on on the chain link fence up to the to the top of the building. Incredible! That sounds yeah. pretty That's lit. Crazy. Shut up! I knew He's you were going to say that one. <laughs> I had to toss it in there. You didn't. You, you just didn't. <laughs> you, just, you just actively. Do- yeah, I'm drinking a. They're a. Uh, <laughs> it's a, fr- a fruit. To, fruit to oh. They're. Uh, oh, I've not seen. They're good. Those. No, no, no calories. Nice and carbonated, so it keep's me full when I'm cutting. Mmm, bangles. That's good. It's good stuff. Yeah, that's a it's a fucking bangle moment. Bangers. Big bangle moment. Bangers. I had a pretty kick-ass that's barbecue good. the other day. Liz again. What'd you barbecue? I uh, <laughs> smoked a tri-tip. I made tri-tip sandwiches. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. It was el delicioso. Mm, I, a new I don't rub. think I've ever actually had tri-tip. Really? I have not either. You, it's same. There's a fine line of making it like good. Like you I was gonna say, make... isn't it like garbage or really good depending on it? Like brisket, where brisket used to literally be like a garbage meat until people figure out how to cook it properly. Yeah, that's the same thing with tri-tip. Like if you actually okay. to this day, there are a lot of like southern places that if you came and you were like, give me a tri-tip sandwich, they will tell you to like fuck off. That like, aggressively to, to them, it's just like, just yeah. say, like we don't kill serve yourself. That. Like they, they, they <laughs> oh, sorry, we don't serve that. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they just think tri tip is just like a dog food meat, like it's terrible. But it's like brisket; you have to cook oh. it the right way. And there's a there's a fine line of where you can cook it the wrong way. So Speaking my, of dog, what am I hearing? I think my mom's, oh, fart dog to shut up. <laughs> I think Brush my mom's here. your dog. Uh, oh god. I think my mom's here, so my dog is freaking out. But um, 
Yeah, no, tri-tip sandwiches. Do you guys ever go to um, hardware stores to get, like, rubs? To get, like, what? not... Like not... belly rubs? Like, I roll over on the floor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he gets it, yeah. It's just a very... They're super nice Average there. dog conversation. Yeah, the dog invaded your brain. That's why I was barking. <laughs> well, you guys the dog is now on the rubs. podcast. <laughs> Bro, y'all gotta go to Home Depot. What's the best place to get belly rubs? I wanna fly here. Y'all wanna fly here and give me a belly rub so bad. The best belly rubs are at Lowe's. (laughs) I got those big old man hands there. It's great. Greased up man hands. I'm talking about like rubs for like meat, like like a seasoning. No, I've no, never no, thought to go to a hardware store I've, for rubs. I feel like every hardware store, well, except for like, on my meat. except for like Home Depot, but like kind of local ones, they always have like <laughs> yeah, weird random. I'm saying like the fucking Home Depot rub. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with that. <laughs> I usually go to a grocery store when I'm buying stuff. I'm gonna yeah. Like, well, yeah, me too. Correct. But like, I feel like grocery I'm stores. A at least the grocery stores here, they they just sell kind of like the like the name brand like seasoning. You got to shop local, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The hardware stores here, they always they always have a huge selection of like seasonings and hot sauces for some reason. That Are you just I have a show never for them? seen that. I don't know. Maybe that's yeah, just I, a here I, thing. I don't know. I kind of grew up with it. So. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever. I've seen I've never that been either. walking through a Home Depot and there's just like a frozen pizza section in the. It's not, no. Home Depot. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not you Home Depot. You gotta lift up the hardwood and it's just sitting underneath. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I get it makes sense. That's the target audience, you know. People, yeah, it's always in the. Like, yeah, I'm gonna chop down a tree and then later I gotta smoke some meat. So fuck it, I'll just exactly, I'll get the yeah. Home Depot seasoning. <laughs> yeah. It's always like over where the barbecues and stuff are too. Like it's not just in the middle of like electrical. It's like appropriately it's like next placed. To a light switch, <laughs> and a little baggie, just like taped just to like the wall. A lawnmower <laughs> section, just like a, you look under one of the lawnmowers, just like a pile of meat for you. Like this is weird. You're, weird like, a, you're like a you're like a weird quest. <laughs> just like it's just meat. It's like seasoning. a dead drop of barbecue seasoning yeah. <laughs> somewhere in the house. <laughs> yeah, that's funny shit. Uh, but yeah, no, I've I've not tried a uh, uh, hardware rub. Hardware rub. I'll be on the lookout. I'll yeah. be on the lookout next time I... I'll, I'll stay vigilant. <laughs> next time I meander into my Home Depot, I'll be looking for the, the seasoning. <laughs> hey, you I'm know what? I bet if you... You know, the <laughs> Home Depot... I just want to say the Home Depot workers are fucking outstanding. Because that store is massive and there's shit everywhere. And you go oh, to one of them and you're like... no sense in there. Yeah, it's like, I'm looking for a, a night light with, that's made out of a coral reef. And they'll be like, oh, aisle 42. I'll take you right there. It's like they just they just <laughs> they know instantly know. where it is. But I guarantee you, if you went in there and asked them, hey, where's the barbecue seasoning? They would probably be like, what the fuck? Like, hold on, I got I to gotta call them. We meeting. have that? <laughs> yeah, like, what? <laughs> They'd take you to the back room there. Yeah. You'd talk to their manager about it, how you found out about it. <laughs> yeah. One of the They'd shelves take you sliding a vault. from the wall to the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah, uh, everybody uh, listening, go try hardware store rubs. Rub. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're, they're good, according to one member. Yeah. G-Sup seasoning is good on hot dogs. It wasn't that yeah, bad. It, it tasted like a cool hot dog. Smoke your meat G-Sups. <laughs> That's what you got to do next, McNasty, is actually use G-Sups. Use Grandpa's ashes <laughs> and put it on some ribs. I mean, Grandpa people Ash use, rub. like, coffee rubs. Yeah. So, like, this is not, you know, this is a coffee not replacement. So Caffeine probably, yeah, so, be bad. Coffee replacement on on your brisket with G subs. It actually probably wouldn't be that bad, like being a sweeter flavor. Yeah. Some sweet sauce. It it, it might be a little bit disgusting. But I wonder hey, if the caffeine would Somebody's stay. Somebody's got to try like, it. Th- when it burns, does the caffeine go? I don't away? think it does. I feel like it would. Yeah. I feel like at that point, it's just whole chemical makeup is just destroyed. Yeah. It's probably just soot. Just like Grandpa's ashes coming soon. Maybe I don't know. It should come does soon. That come come on, when August. does that come out? Do we have a date? August. It does. So I'm okay, let's not go. a date, point. but it's it, the month is confirmed. It should be out in August. Okay, all let's right. Go. August, Somewhere get ready to drink August. Grandpa. Yes, rip Grandpa. Yes, rest yep. in peace, Grandfather. We're we're just prepping all the Grandpas ahead of time right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's we're still collecting time. them. You could submit yours if you really care. <laughs> What's about What's crazy us. is there's probably going <laughs> to be a lot of fans grandpa. between you know, now <laughs> and August where their Grandpa's going to die, and then they're going to buy. Yeah, them. And it's going to be like maybe mine was like the next. That's how we keep the supply going. My grandpa dying was the Nexus event that started all of this. He was Nexus the he was event? the first. Yeah, he was the very first. Oh. It was the inception. I never heard that term. Inception. Nexus event. Uh, what is it from? I don't know. It's from one of those shitty ass Marvel shows. I think it's from Loki or something. It's a Nexus Logan? event. Yeah, I think it is. Lo- <laughs> yes, <laughs> the Low Gang invades the Marvel <laughs> universe. <laughs> it went Just poorly. when you thought it couldn't no, get Loki. shittier. Yeah, <laughs> Loki. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Lo- 
old gang still a thing, or is he just him now? Does he, he just, still he have just a vlogs squad? Iron Man's dead body. <laughs> hey, we're all thinking. Spoiler. Did Iron Man even die? Oh, he did. Yeah, that's right. I, so. uh, I mean, you don't know that by now. I've never even seen the movie, but I know that. They a ass funeral. They did. Bro, watching, like, Marvel movies now, it's just... Uh, it's, oh, it's wild not, it's how those, like... It's yeah. just wild how that got so popular. They're, like, kind of just dog shit. Like, a lot of them are pretty good. But there's this objective horse shit in the middle of it all. Yeah. Like, so many things did not need to be full movies. It's wild. You know what I'm glad they didn't keep doing was the Dark Knight movies. Didn't they just make another one? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I've never really been into, like, Batman I stuff. I never watched DC. Yeah, I can't. I can't get past his voice on the Batman acting. All of them. I can't. It's so. Uh, it just, I don't know. Something about it. Just. I. I can't get past. I watch yeah. and then Batman talks and I'm like, oh god, he's doing the thing. Well, I, th I know that like they made one. They did one with like Ben Affleck or something, but I. I think that Ben Affleck. We're doing him. Man. Ben Marjorie Affleck. But I think the Dark Knight trilogy was uh, that like ended. I don't know. I haven't seen the other one, so. You ain't missing shit. I'm doing near. I'm I ain't got a know. fucking clue, boy. I'm Batman just versus glad Superman was dog dick times 47. Yeah, I imagine. I'm just glad superhero movies are finally starting to, like, die out. and Like, I just, I just want to go back to when movies were just, like, a movie and not, like, a yeah. one-sixth part of a ultra universe mm, of yeah. characters that are all intertwined for some reason. We're now in Phase 7, Episode 43. Yeah, like, why? I don't yeah. know. I just want to see funny. You know what era of movies I miss the most? Like like forty year old version. Yeah, like two thousand five to two thousand twelve. Yeah. Like that era of Four comedies. I don't brothers. know. Yeah. Like oh, there's just so many fucking. Anything funny Seth movies. Rogen or fucking. Uh, I almost called him Will Michael Ferrell Scott. in that era. <laughs> What's his real yeah. name? Oh uh, yeah. The, what? What's his middle Everyone's name? Everyone's talking at his the same really? time. Michael Scott from The Office. What's his real name? Steve Carell? Steve Carell, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, anything Dave he was Grohl? actually good. <laughs> Dave Grohl. And yeah. yeah, Dave Grohl playing drums. <laughs> anything that has that incredible film. <laughs> I mean, true. Does he was he the devil in fucking uh, Tenacious D. Tenacious D. I yeah. didn't know that was for it? like five years. Yeah. I don't well, even remember that. Yeah. I feel like the last time I watched that movie, movie, though, I really didn't really have, uh, have an idea of who Dave, Dave Grohl actually was, like what he looked like. Uh, yeah, you definitely he, wouldn't be able to tell in the movie. He was like yeah. covered in red shit. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't tell who he was. I mean, I've seen that movie a bunch of times, up. and then like eventually, I saw a YouTube video that was like behind the scenes. I was like, oh shit, that's Dave Grohl. <laughs> what? What made you notice it was him? Was he just like drumming? Well, it was like behind the scenes, and he was like he had like half he said, makeup I'm Dave on. Grohl. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, that's fair. Yeah. Valid. Valid response. Carry on. Have a good Half day. naked gruel in the was BTS. Like, yeah, my friend blew his head off in the nineties. <laughs> Did he say just that? Just brings that up <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes, <laughs> just All for no it. reason. <laughs> just right before they're about to shoot, just so the vibes are good. He's like, you want to talk about shoot? I know about shooting. Oh man! So does my best friend. <laughs> yeah, funny moment. Anyway, uh huh. I'm waiting that. <sighs> <laughs> we are like, here. I am like, under the water. Like the modern day Help. crickets. I am under the water. <laughs> I'm in the tight sup. <laughs> okay. Not for long, buddy. Not for long. I don't believe that. Ignatius, you do not have gay guy vibes. Yeah, I'm not gay. Like I could just could not picture you going to town on a man ass. How long does it take for this conversation to circle back to me and then you guys say do has gay vibes? How long does it take? <laughs> I mean, it's in the back. It's it's on the forefront of all of our brains. Okay. We don't need to say. I'm it. just waiting yeah. for it. We should do. I a, that was an obvious. We should rate each other on who's the who's the gayest to the least gayest. Well, okay, all right, go ahead. Uh, me gay. Let's see how this who's goes. Who's next? Do number one gay man. Yeah, dude's definitely number one gay. I don't know, my second, I feel like I'd probably be second, right? Yeah. Canadian, yeah, okay. number two gay. All right, uh, Soup's number I feel, like, I feel like between I'll me be, and Soup, it's pretty close. I'll be number three gay man. Number three? All right. Yeah. Four. Soup's got luscious hair, so that doesn't help him. Yeah, yeah. the long Groupable. hair. I like getting I pulled pull from on behind. <laughs> <Groupable>. <laughs> a little tug if on. Du had, if Dew had little, like, long twink hair, it'd be game over. He'd be, like, oh, maybe yeah. I do. Maybe it's always up. 
You don't know. Oh, it's like a man bun. Actually, you know what? I have I yeah. haven't seen any recent photos of you other than when you accidentally fucking knocked your camera over. Oh, yeah. The yeah. one the one frame. Dude, that <laughs> frame is so funny. Your eyes are just blotted out and it's just this fucking <laughs> just this smear of human being. I have not seen <laughs> that. <laughs> I really, seen that bro. I, I I don't. I probably deleted it just to be safe, but I I don't know. I remember finding it because dude's it's like, oh, paper. actually, yeah. Dude's like, I, I don't actually know if you could see anything on the podcast. And I went back, and it was just one frame of his it's panicked just face. It, was, just it, it would have been such a good fucking meme to post, but you know, yeah. doesn't show his face, so I restrained from it. But I it would have been a good face that. reveal image. Yeah. Because you wouldn't even be able to tell what it no, is. No, no, literally could. If that thing showed up at my door, I'm shooting it. It didn't look like a person. <clears throat> it looked like a skinwalker yeah, skin transformation. Dude. I want to yeah, see that transformation. I, I, you got to recreate it right now. Yeah, if you Deuce still has the footage, that would be the only way. <laughs> I do not still have it. I do not believe I have it. Sad. Anyway, anyone have anything exciting going on? Anyone do anything cool last week? Uh, I was breathing yesterday. I had a really big what about today? <laughs> no uh, I think I've done today? it a couple times today. I don't know. <laughs> I had a, I had one heartbeat this morning. That was weird. okay. Whoa! Yeah. I got a new house. I guess that's getting interesting. Yeah, that's big. Bought Good a house. You. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Last year to buy a house. Yeah. But yeah. that's okay. It's 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 not about who does it first. It's about. Well, I, I mean, I would have <laughs> I would have bought one a while ago, but I, I was kind of in like an off, off and on relationship, and I don't know what was happening with that, so they kind of like stopped me from wanting to actually commit to a house. But uh, that's, yeah, that's long fair. gone. I'm like, I'm buying a fucking house. I'm tired of paying rent. I'm tired of just yeah. yeah padding the pockets of a landlord. Yeah, yeah, paying rent is kind of doo doo ass. Yeah, it doesn't feel good because like at least your mortgage, you're like paying into your own future right. essentially. Yeah. But you're just like buying somebody a, a Lamborghini. One thing Level. I hate doing about uh, what the one thing I hate doing. One thing I hate about renting um is I can't like I can't do anything to the house. You know? Like if I want to if I want to rip carpet out, I can't fucking do that, you know? Really? I feel like if you talk well, to a landlord, depends. usually they let you do whatever. Why would you, you do that though? Why would you invest in a fucking place you're renting? I mean, it depends on the vibe, if but it's uh, dog dick time and you just want to upgrade it, I don't know. I mean, the only yeah, nice thing about that, that was like not having to fix that. like your dishwasher if it broke. That's like your landlord's oh, yeah. expense. Yeah. Yeah. Like there that shit's nice. That but, but like Yeah, this- I feel like I don't know, right a lot of like buying a property is also like a huge fucking commitment. Oh yeah. So like if somebody's I, I would definitely tell people at least rent first a little bit before. Yeah, to get like a vibe something. of what you want. Yeah. Especially if you're like with a partner, because like most people obviously have to you know, yeah. split a mortgage between two people. If you like, don't even rent together, and you just like move in and have mortgage fifty fifty. That's fucking scary. Yeah. Yeah, and no, I'm especially I'm like solo e- dating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably for the best. Yeah. Not a bad, but good for you, man. I'm glad to very hear you, you have a house. That is very good. Is Paxton still gonna live with you in, in your new? Yeah. Place? So the new house actually has a guest house in the back. Like okay. in the backyard, and he so he Paxton's like, not good enough to stay in the, the yeah, he's yeah, throwing yeah, him in the backyard. Yeah, so the guest house is actually a dog it's house. It's actually so a pool house. house. <laughs> <laughs> no, he specifically asked for that when we, we went and looked at it. So I was like, Yeah, I think because actually, like, I built you an igloo outside, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's made out of mud and clay I a in California. In the ground. Get in there, oh, yeah. yeah, a hut fashioned made of boxes. No, but he, I think he just he, wants to get as far away from you as humanly possible. Is what it sounds like to me. He mainly wanted it because, like, he, uh, you know, he stays up all hours of the night and just fucking, like, screams and, you know, for TikTok. And he oh, yeah, because you go to bed nice and early. Or, <laughs> right. You know, he's keeping you up, at, isn't he? Up at 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> to go feed the chickens. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Way to elaborate. Well, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm happy for you. Thanks. Yeah. I'm happy Great. also. You found something that you like. Yeah, it was it was funny too because we went and looked at like four houses, and this was like based on the pictures was like number three, and then when I went and actually saw it, it just instantly went up to number one for me. I was like, I I have to find yeah. this house. Yeah, pictures don't always do it justice. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of very. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's I don't know. It's hard to say with houses because like you can't really get a feel of like proportions and stuff. 
No, yeah, and also you don't get to see what's around the house too, because that's yeah. a huge thing for me. Like if the house itself is nice, like there was a house I went to go look at that was like twenty minutes away from me, and I, I really didn't know the area too too well. And the house itself on the photos looks super nice. And then I got there, and the house is like literally just positioned on a four way stop that's super busy there's no like light oh there. yeah fuck so there's just cars backed up outside your driveway pretty much 24 yeah. 7 and it's just like that's you ass. would have no idea unless you actually went and checked out the house so like if you were buying from out of town you'd be like this house looks perfect then you get there and just never be able to pull out of your driveway and shit like it's just yeah. ass too one big thing yeah, for me too is uh the layout of a house and pictures never ever show that no not i can go to a house and if the layout is just wrong i'm like i there's nothing you can do about that you can't just fucking re-change a house position like i mean like you, you can, can remodel a kitchen and stuff, but yeah yeah, I, I, worse. yeah go in creative lot. mode yeah and i was kind of really like looking around close to my top budget so i was like i'm you know i want to have something that's 95 percent of the way there you and don't the only need, thing need to do anything yet. yeah all i need to do is like like if there's carpet in my master bedroom which i don't like i'm not a carpet fan so fuck you tear Ooh, the carpet like out carpet. put in some hardwood uh paint Carpet's a little cozy. bit it's just it, everything in the house doesn't need to be structurally ripped down or changed. Yeah. Sound I absorption. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to turn. The, there's like a side garage and we're going to turn that into like a music room. So I think I'm probably just going to oh, take the sick. carpet out of that room and just put it in the music area. I hope one day that's we're sick. all in garages. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I <laughs> can go downstairs setup. and I mean, go garage. in my garage. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's, yeah, mine's mine's getting built. Soup's Tottest already in there. McNasty has one. <laughs> yeah. The, we're basically doing what teenagers do, except like we're adults of our and we have our own house. We own yeah. the place. We don't have to. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah, literally, like your parents kick you out into the garage because you make too much noise. <laughs> I just, we're I just love doing it, out it here. for no reason. I yeah. love being in the garage. It's like my, I mean, it's my, nice to like separate cave. it from your house. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is Especially because cool like obviously you work from home at YouTube, so it's like I don't know. Sometimes it's kind of doo-doo ass to walk like 15 feet from your bedroom to wherever your office is, or. You know, even if it's just like yeah. a floor difference like mine, it's still kind of shit to be in the same yeah. space as you relax in. So, yeah, my garage is not nearly as big as your garage. Your garage is fucking huge. Same. Mine's pretty small. Yeah, I think this is like a three car is what it was listed mm -hmm. as. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. But just it looks the whole long. gang over. Let's Could try to all put like, our cars in there. It looks like you could pull, pull like four in there, like front to Can back. Can you like. Take your webcam mm. off and like, like show us, or is there like, <laughs> is there sus uh, after stuff? the podcast? Yeah, oh, okay. well, <laughs> <laughs> there's just like a dead guy hanging upside down. Yeah. <laughs> there's a couple of bodies over there. I might need to clean up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> give me one hour and I'll be right back. Why are you turning super red and sweating all of a sudden? <laughs> there's just blood all over the side of the truck. <laughs> I, I really like really out of frame there. <laughs> just like half of like a pride flag just hanging off. A man stapled on my wall over there. <laughs> a man stapled. stapled. <laughs> you need a lot of There's staples for a whole staples, ass yeah. guy. <laughs> you just have like There's a comically a large stapler. You just boom right in the middle of his chest. <laughs> <laughs> right through his fucking sternum. <laughs> comically large stapler. Oh fuck. <laughs> Incredible. Hmm. Yeah, I'll show you on my garage after this, though. Right. But yeah, there's enough room for another another car over there. And and actually, next month, I'm gonna have some friends come over and we're gonna like renovate the room and everything. Hell yeah. Oh hell what yeah! Are you do? So we're gonna. What do you got planned? Uh, my idea is to take everything out and light it on fire and then shoot an <laughs> RPG in the garage with the Raptor inside of it. <laughs> no, I was gonna move okay. everything out and have uh, get like gym mats put down. On this side, yeah, uh, the I'm ones that like piece puzzle together or whatever. Yeah, like all the way all down. Right, a bunch of those. And I was gonna like try and move my uh, setup back up against that wall, mm -hmm. like all the way over there, and I don't know, just make like a a nicer setup and and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Make it, like, look not less too like nice. Garage, <clears throat> I mean, you're kind of just sitting in like a concrete area right now, so probably a little better wouldn't hurt. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna put some gym mats down. And on the other side of the garage that you can't see, I'm gonna like section it off, and put like mic up a drum kit and put it over there and have like a little music mini studio. Yeah, mini studio and rehearsal space over there. That's kind of sick. So you could just do like demos and shit at home. Yeah, like That's better sweet. sounding demos. But the yeah, garage is a lot of echo, 
and so yeah. it's gonna help with the reverb of everything. Once yeah, I the mats that. will help a shit ton. Yeah, yeah. And then you could, I mean, you could just get like, too. yeah, you could just get Audi mute foam as well, and just throw a bunch of that on the wall. That's what I have on all my shit behind, and they actually work so well. Even just yeah. a few of them, like I have overkill amount. Like my office is like, if I don't have headphones on, it's actually uncomfortable to sit in here because it's like too quiet. Really? I still need to hang like mine. It. I've got styrofoam sitting on guitar cases. It's my makeshift That's shift not foam surprising. Dude has not nice. like gotten out of his MacGyver phase from the last house. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I, I have them. Plate. I, I ordered them. I just haven't hung them yet. Do you still have the Dude, banana that was, plate? That was some of the most Peanut fun, though, is like, no. you know, not being able to fucking buy whatever you wanted for your studio. So yeah. you had to figure out how you were going to get it together. Like, I remember my yeah. first setup was a lawn mm -hmm. chair in my bedroom and my <laughs> and my fucking TV was on like a entertainment center or whatever they're called like a, a brown wooden yeah. box basically oh yeah baby and I had my uh, Toshiba laptop on my Hell nightstand yeah. I had to like take my lamp and everything off my nightstand I put my laptop up there and I had like my HD PVR on the ground and I was just running <laughs> cables and I had two headsets on so I had my Xbox headset yes. on, and I had a Logitech oh my God. mic headset underneath of that, pointing out this way. So I had one mm. around my neck and one on my head. Oh my to record God! Xbox those were the stuff. days, bro. Yeah, those were the fucking days, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I forgot about having to do that. I remember. I, okay, so my first setup would have been on a rocking chair, that was from my oh old my bedroom. I brought it downstairs. And I spent, so I like, when I started YouTube, I was old enough to like have a job and stuff. So I did have a little bit of money, but not like, obviously not any substantial amount, just like normal little kid part-time job money. And I spent all my money on my PC and a blue snowball. And I remember when my Xbox friends wanted to do stuff, I would have to put in my like little skull candy earphones with my actual recording headphones over top of it. So I had yep. earphones on yep. with, with headphones over top of it and then my blue snowball i i put a screw into the ceiling and i had a piece of string that came down and i taped it around and because i did i couldn't afford like a proper like mic arm and shit i just had a blue snowball just dangling in front <laughs> on of the house. string <laughs> did it ever like spin around and face the wrong way like no, you just, because I you're like sitting it. there no, like I, I taped all right guys so like, today <laughs> we're uh, <laughs> <laughs> no 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 I, I had it taped so it was okay it wasn't bad Although wow. it was like right above my keyboard, so all you'd hear in every video was just fucking mechanical keyboard clicks. Oh, yeah. So like, I'd be talking, and those would be like louder than me speaking. <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah, Bro. I miss the my days day of like pre EQ, when we just had raw mics, just picking raw. up everything. Oh, just raw yeah. dog and everything. Super yeah. Plain. My, my <laughs> yeah, I remember. I've, I've probably Sorry, told this ahead, before, dude. but my first mic was literally just the mic on an MP3 player that I had in like 1912. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And so I would just get the files off of there and try to sync it up. It was awful. <laughs> I used to have to ask my mom to not do, like, housework when I'm recording because you'd be able to hear all of it in my fucking yeah. videos because I had no, like, any sort of sound gate. So my mom would just be, like, walking upstairs above me, and I'd text her be like, please stop walking above me. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, sorry, <laughs> sweetie. Fucking blue snowballs, like, bouncing because of the <laughs> fucking... Sit still <laughs> when I'm recording, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, my mom used to do, like, dishes and, and, like, turn the sink on and shit, and you could just, like, hear, like, pots and pans in the background of some of my videos. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. It's, like, flinging around. Do you guys remember that <laughs> time, funny. like, in that short period where I moved back from Washington and I had to stay at my yes. dad's and my setup was at the table? Oh, my <laughs> you God. You guys would hear my background. dad, like, making <laughs> yeah. a bunch of noise and shit. <laughs> Your dad's <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he sounded just like you though. Like oh, he yeah. the mic. The, Everybody the says Greg that, yeah. Paul one was fucking insane. Oh yeah. He just came up and was like, Greg Paul. And it literally oh, we God. thought it was you. Like it just sounded like you were just like, Alright, I'm gonna pretend to be my dad. Yeah. Like you should have just paid your dad like... to do ads for you. <laughs> I'm not convinced that you're even you. I mean, when do we have you and when do we have your dad on? I don't really even know. Yeah, I've never seen yeah. him in the same room. Well, I would tell you, but I have to busy, kill you. Busy sucking down a hot dog and some toes. <laughs> That's kind of just m m me, dad lore, huh? <laughs> hot dog and toes. Me, dad. Me, dad. Me, McDad. Yeah, he's still, he's still to this day, he eats fucking cold hot dogs. That's fucked up. That is hell I need you to know that. It's like a snack. <laughs> he just like comes from, from lunch. <laughs> it's not a snack. He well, said like, he dips uh, them in mayonnaise, too, right? I think he did that a couple times, but I don't think he does it anymore. And you give me shit for heating up a chicken breast in the microwave, bro. Your hey, dad, both of you are weird with food, your okay? Your dad's vile as dick ball. It's not a I competition. Both of you are weird. 
I don't think a chicken breast is weird. This Nasty's motherfucker lamb based the whole raw shit. chicken breast in a microwave. No, I thought I thought we it's had not said it raw. was breaded. It was the breaded no, already it's not cooked. breaded. It's just it was already, the already cooked. cooked chicken breast. Yes. I yeah, think he's just co- he's saying that as a cope. I don't think he actually. You does cannot that. cook a chicken breast in the microwave. There's no way. I would they have. You can cook anything in the microwave. Dude, that's been you'd had. have literally boo boo. It would just be instantly. super super dry because yeah. microwaves the actual microwave. Well, that cooks yeah, it he didn't say it would be good. It's yeah. oh, I never said I'm eating like del- gourmet food here. I'm yeah. just just not gonna. As long as there's protein, chicken. that's it. That's the. I feel like you wouldn't even standard. get protein. I feel like if you microwave the chicken long enough to cook it, there is no protein left. You're eating like mush. Yeah, you're just yeah. eating like. I don't know if it would be mush. Burned. It would probably be like a brick and like half raw inside. Just like hard <laughs> yeah, as fuck. A yeah. little medium rare on the inside. <laughs> medium rare chicken is not. It would have to be like a, not a thin thing. like cutlet. It would have to be really thin to cook it. Like you couldn't cook it. I would just simply put it on a pan for 30 seconds. Yeah. If true. it's that thin where the microwave can cook it. <laughs> or like literally just like uh, an air fryer or something. Yeah, yeah air fryers are the best. I love them. Air they do go hard. Good. It's crazy that we live for so long shit. without having those. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're not like a new thing. Like, I remember my friend had a fucking air fryer like at least 10 years ago. But just nobody cared about them for some yeah, reason. Yeah, it just was like a popular craze, like a blow up. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it was like the one of the weird pandemic things where like everyone was getting fat, so like we should probably get like slightly less fat. How can we do this? And then yeah. an air fryer. It's possible. I mean, it essentially, doesn't it work the same way as an oven? Or no? Uh, I think no, so. Not really. Uh, kind it of. Because really it blows like really hot yeah, air around, air. right? Yeah, yeah, it's just convection. So kind of, if you have like a convection oven, an, uh, yeah. oven. I used to have one of those. Convection oven? Most yeah. modern Ooh, ovens have penis it. Penis and balls. Convection Brr. oven? No. Oh, you used to have a penis and balls. Uh, okay. That's have you guys good. been any playing any new fun games? Um, uh, I'm playing Forza right now. Yeah, I saw your Xbox Escape. controller. I was like, what the hell? Tetris. Yeah. Tetris. Do you have still you play that Tetris 99? Yeah. I played, that, won won the I played that the other day. I'm terrible at that. I'm so bad at that. I don't want to talk about it. I came, in, <laughs> I came in second the other day. Oh, damn. You well, if you ain't first, Tetris? you're last. It yeah, was that is so, what Ricky Bobby says. It was so fucking defeating to come in second place. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's gotta I got to be tough. I got angry and I shit myself. Have you ever gotten first? I don't know if those were related. Wait, what? Have you ever gotten first in the game? No. <laughs> no, no really? that's why no. I'm grilling his dick off. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate that game, but I'm so addicted to it. I tried you're to play Mario to just... Kart the other day, and it was... I used to be so good at that game, and it's just, I'm just ass now again. Got to keep up with the, the meta. I got to a point <laughs> where I literally was like, I was playing online, and then I got to a point where all of my uh, opponents were Japanese. Oh, like I was, I was actually a, getting really. You were, you were in the end game, my brother. Yeah. You were right there in the top. <laughs> yeah, you were in the, the top one person. You're fighting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then there'll always be that one guy who have like 999 million points, and he just fucking he's on like 10 times speed. Just <laughs> and they always play as fucking Waluigi. And like the caterpillar car oh, yeah. pisses me off, dude. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Waluigi riding by, some fucking Japanese name above it, and a fucking shell hits me. I'm like, God yeah. damn it! <laughs> it makes me so angry. Send more nukes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was playing as a, a dry Bowser, <clears throat> and like the Mario. What is Carter dry fucking... Bowser? Has he not <laughs> liquored up? What, what is it called? Mean? What is Dehydrated dry? Bowser. Yeah, he's <laughs> just. <laughs> Yeah, microwave Bowser. He doesn't hit Peach. <laughs> Wait, what is it called? The and he's like the lava. He's like the dry lava bones. Bowser. No, dry bones is the little dry guys. Bowser. Dry bones. Baby there's Bowser. A, there's no dry Bowser. There's a, That's not there's a, a guy. There's a Bowser that has like a. He's like he's bones and he has like lava shell. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like he looks like dry bones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's definitely not called Dry, dry Bowser. Bowser. Dry Bowser. <laughs> definitely not his name. <laughs> it's a terrible name. Unmoist though. Bowser. <laughs> they should have just called him Drowser or something. <laughs> I forget what his name is. It's, it probably is Dry Bowser. There's no about. way it's Dry I Bowser. I said that so confidently. It is Dry Bowser. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> I said that so confidently too. I was like, "These guys are gonna know what Dry Bowser is." I roasted your dick off. I refuse to believe they called him Dry. They couldn't come up with something better than Dry Bowser. Lava Bowser. It looks pretty dry. Should have called him Bro on Bed. (laughs) It's because of the dry bones, fellas. All right, listen. I know y'all don't all know your Mario lore. I do know who Dry Bones is. I know who that is, but like, 
I don't know. Just call him Bone Bowser. Or why even know, make anything. him an Bowser? Yeah, what? just just don't. I'm not gonna lie, anyway. McNasty. Your that character selection. Just <laughs> whenever I see that in Mario Kart, I always just think like. This is some edgy teenager wearing cargo shorts, drinking a lot of Monster. Yeah, I put on my DC shoes when I play Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah. My big fat no, pink and the, black ones. What was the one? What were the ones that were worse than? Uh, no, Etnies. Osiris. Osiris. Oh yeah, the fucking, those were terrible. Oh yeah, baby. Osiris never bad. made one good-looking shoe. They were all just big fat. No, they're like, just fucking kid shoes. Yeah, I'm glad I never owned a, a pair. I wanted a pair. I tried to get my friend's dad. My friend's dad used to always go to China. And, uh, he, he used to always, like, get them a lot cheaper there. And I asked him yeah. to get me a pair, but he didn't. And uh, I'm very thankful for that now, but at the time I was very sad. It's funny that, like, back in the day, like, it was cool to have the tightest pants possible and the biggest, fattest biggest shoes, shoes you could wear, yeah. Literally look like fucking Chris Griffin or something. What's funny, though, is that's, like, <laughs> that's 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 been back for a while. Like, it's kind of phasing out again now, but, like, the fucking... Yeah. The giant chunky Balenciagas. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like you're uh, talking about those big red fucking. Oh, those boot are, looking. I'm things. glad those died as fast. Oh, as those they are did. funny. Those so ugly. The Mega I Man. saw somebody in real life wearing those the other day. No way, dude. Right. They're aren't yeah. they expensive as fuck? I'm pretty sure they're. I don't know, but they, dude. He looks, like pricey. He, he looks like he came out of the fucking battle pass, bro. Like those oh, things look so style. fucking <laughs> ugly. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's tough. Yeah, people are always. What shoes everyone friends. wearing right now? None. No, I got slippers on. This one's like barefoot. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta show off the shoe. I got game. some. I, I got like some you... cool slippers. There we go. He's got the dad slippers on. No, they're just slippers. Oh, I'm wearing I Crocs. I stay wearing barefoot. I stay connected to the earth. I, I can't I show my feet without showing Crocs my on. face right now. So, oh, yeah, another light. That's dope. Yep. My I got my Crocs say cock on them. They're pretty cool. Oh yeah, got Miller Lite and Ford. Oh my god, Ford. dude, if these I are just actually saw a those new pair. sitting somewhere. I'd be like, man, that guy's are like the Morgan Wallen special. <laughs> <one there." laughs> like if I just saw those sitting at the gym, <laughs> absolutely would assume a racist guy owns those. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, a little Mario gibbet on there, whatever they're called. Giblet? I think that's I think that's what they're called. Giblet? And it, I, I don't know what happened to it. I actually I I went to wash. These are a new pair of Crocs because I went to to wash mine because you know they were looking a little. You know, rough. They had seen better yeah. days. And my feet sweat so fucking bad. Mm. Do <laughs> I knew it was going. <laughs> what, you like, know me or shit? What? <laughs> you didn't even get it out yet before it yeah. <laughs> I was still loading the moan when he said that. <laughs> loading the moan. I, I put them in the, uh, in the washing machine and then the dryer. I had a lot of yeah, shit. Yeah, the dryer's the, the problem. Machine. Dude, yeah. they fucking. One <laughs> of them was like, like little baby feet. <laughs> dude, one of them shrunk up so fucking small, <laughs> and then one of them was like melted and had turned in on itself. Like it was like, <laughs> it looked like it had kind of elongated and was like bent like this, like permanently. You could That's not so unbend fucked. it. And I was yeah, like, yeah, well. those, those those don't go in there. Yeah, I didn't those. know that. Yeah, why would you even try to dry them? Just like put them outside for like yeah. thirty seconds. They're a piece of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Put dude. a hair dryer on them, I guess. I melt them too, honestly. Yeah, I literally just like whenever I take mine out of the wash, I wash them like I don't know, once a week or something, and I literally just throw them in the backyard for like ten minutes, and then they're dry because they're literally just rubber. <laughs> That's what I should have done. Should yeah. I invest in a pair of these? I've never owned. Crocs. Dude, they're greats. Honestly, they're I feel grakes. like free they're great. Greeks. I, oh, well, I'm sold now. <laughs> the Greeks. <laughs> the Greeks. The Greek people I love say them. great. I always wear them like by the pool, or you can wear them inside if yeah. you're like They're doing like dishes for a while. Yeah. Unless you're yeah, walking you can, in the sand, you, you can put them in four wheel drive. This is what yeah. this little strap is for, dude. Look. Yeah, they got V Max mode, so your top speed mode, and then they got handling yeah. mode. Do you feel like you walk way faster? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, Zooming like you know when things, you know when dude. little kids used to like get new shoes and they'd show them off by like running fast. Yeah. Not oh, running yeah. very fast at all. That. That's, yeah, that's 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 exactly how you you, you perform in your Crocs immediately. Exactly. When you, get them. you sprint out the store without paying. They got a lot of interesting designs. See, I just opt in for the for the standard like black Crocs. Those are the ones I like, have. The exact ones you have. Lucky Charms Crocs and like Lightning yeah, McQueen I, Crocs. I had to go with Ooh. the Ooh. I had to go with I'm the Minion Crocs, obviously. Uh, I got yeah. a bunch of Minion Charms on them and. Uh, they have you know, the ones that have, like, the felt on the inside, too, that look really comfortable. Or, like, the wool or whatever. Yeah, those are probably... I feel like those are fucking stank. Yeah, yeah oh, I yeah. feel like I would get those so 
disgusting and yeah. sweaty and nasty. You're like a dead yeah. wolf in the middle of your crock. <laughs> dead wolf. What? <laughs> oh, I like my crocs. Yeah. I don't know if I share that sentiment, but that's fine. That's why there's a crock for everybody. There's a yeah, crock I, for uh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to put uh, cocks on mine instead of the crocs thing, but uh, the S didn't fit, so now they just say cock. Just mm. written right across. Hey, and I wear them everywhere. They get okay. cock, little cock shoes at the grocery store. Cock on foot. Yep. You should There's do the also a minion charm right next to it. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> no. Kind of funny in theory, but though. Thanks for your input. Racist yeah, detected. <laughs> why am I doing racism under the ocean? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Why are you? It's the only safe place left to be racist. <laughs> I could say in the word in the water. Nobody can hear me. <laughs> Yeah. I went out to international waters and said the N-word at the top of my lungs. One of the killer whales that's like half black just comes out of nowhere and fucking eats What'd you. What you say, cracker? <laughs> <laughs> pulls out a Glock. <laughs> Made out of coral. It pulls up in a Dodge Caught Charger. Carl. Carl. <laughs> Dodge Charger. <laughs> Man. Okay. That's stupid. Eric, stop. That stop is very Eric. stupid. But what, I, that's weird about that, like... Racism as I, I feel like I've never actually seen a black guy in a Dodge Charger. Oh, it's yeah. always like some white guy that doesn't been really want to be million white. Times. I know. You never seen that. I know. I, I've I've seen mess. Challengers, but I feel like it's usually like white trash people that are in them, not like yeah. I always see black like a, dudes. Whenever I see a Challenger, I always see a guy that looks like he's like eighteen and you just know his dad bought it for him. It's a rich little. Turd. Really, I feel like I see somebody that's like. You're 46 and yet you're still 108 too, pounds. Yeah. How do you? There's do no that? in between. There's no like no. distinguished 25 year old man that goes to Harvard that's driving oh, a Challenger. It's like yeah, yeah, just yeah. <laughs> absolutely I saw a nine year old not. hop out of a Challenger at McDonald's one time. That he had to have been like nine. Dope. But he was just going through the drive through and he like got out and I was like, it took me a second because he got out of the car and I was Wait, just like, he got oh, out of the guy. driver's seat. Yeah, he was driving. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I probably should have prefaced with it. It with that yeah that's what i was like random kid getting that's out pretty of cool man <laughs> <laughs> a little kid you drove in his dad's yeah, he, <laughs> he was driving he was cool driving it. that's fucking weird and i was in the mcdonald's drive through and i was just like oh so it's a guy just getting out of his driver's seat and i like was like wait a minute is that a midget like <laughs> uh, no that's a fucking like nine-year-old okay so a nine-year-old's <laughs> just driving a challenger it could have been like somebody with hasbula disease i don't think but, so like hasbula isn't allowed to drive he just sits in the passenger seat I don't and think screams. He physically can. Oh, yeah, that's true. No. Yeah. There has to be a high I mean, requirement for truck driving. How could you I even mean, reach? I'd hope so. Well, I don't you know. Can little, they give uh, him like extendo pedals? Yeah, you get stilts. Yeah. Well, I what's weird is I remember, we had this teacher in high school and he had no hands, and we always a wondered walk -a -walk -a how a guy with no hands teach him with no hands. Teach him really. <laughs> Well, I had a business teacher. He had no hands. Um, but uh, we always wondered how he got to school and, like, back from school. And then I saw him fucking drive by one day, and we were freaking out. And we were like, dude, that's him. Wave. And we waved, and he waved back, and it was just this little nub. And I've never been able to find out how he drove. Because it was just, like, uh, wrist. I, I couldn't think of the word for that. He probably like had, like, a suction ankle. cup hook. I, I don't know That's what he had, but he, we, he waved at us and everything, and he's just, it was just his little nub. Like, he didn't have, like, an Inspector Gadget commando hand that came out or anything. It was just, like, his little fucking nubber thing going on. Hmm. Yeah, weird weird vibes there. And he taught business? Yeah, he taught business. It's really funny. Uh, he, uh, I would not trust he, a guy with no hands with business. Yeah. I mean, he, me was, he, was, he was all right. Can't even shake but, hands. Uh, he used to joke about it. He he <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, nub. man. No Jiggle deal. Around. We can't do it. <laughs> man, he just Elbow puts his little nub. nub up the corner. I would just try and give him like a hug or something and be like, all right. That's well, the he deal. Was, he, <laughs> let's hug out he used to fist bump the nub. <laughs> yeah. Similar. He used to joke so about it. He used to like. Elbow his nub. <laughs> he used to just use it as his pointer stick instead of actually using the wooden ones that they'd provide. So he just he like. Hold them. I mean, he could have like he had no choice. What do you mean in the place of? <laughs> I guess he, he had no choice. <laughs> you know what? He joked about it about having to do that, but now that you point that out, yeah, he actually had no choice. He just literally had to fucking. 
I don't know. He could have taped it to him like every morning his wife just duct tapes sticks to his hands. <laughs> There's like a pen sticking out over here, a fucking pointer, a ruler over here. He's got like a like, you know multi tool hand. You know when you're little and put like the little poppies through your finger skin on school days? Did you guys have huh? that? What the what hell the was in it? Did you just say that order? Canadian <laughs> shit going on over there? What the hell? Hey, oh, you, you ever put the poppies under your finger your finger and skin? For, a <laughs> for like. <laughs> For like Veterans Day, you guys didn't like do poppies what? and shit. Canada has veterans. You have a military. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys actually don't Moose do poppies Army? in the U.S. I, th I thought that what was is a, a thing, poppy? Like, it's a flower. Like a flower? Like, yeah, oh. the poppy flower. Like in I forget what I think it was World War One or two. I, mean, I don't know. There was like a muffins. Big uh, big okay, battle see. on a on a poppy uh, plane. No. A lot of guys we died. Have... I don't know. Bro, you are Normal speaking stuff Vietnamese. Here. Right <laughs> that's now. Okay. that's yeah. like some that's like some gay Canadian military <laughs> lore. Like yeah, right. we died well, in a, a flower field. Yeah, well, that's, battle. A, <laughs> that's a thing that we All Canadians are allergic Aussie. to puppy fields. They used to give you the little poppies, and they had the little metal pin at the back, like basically a no. safety pin. We have burgers, and, brew, and bitches. <laughs> we don't have poppies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we used to well, stick the safety pin thing through our skin, and I was saying he could do that. Oh, I've done that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. Okay. Why poppy, well, the though? only time we, the only time we all got to do that because when the school used to hand out poppies, they had the safety pin thing. But then the kids kept doing that, so they had to make it stickers instead. Oh, so now kids get okay. stupid stickers. But yeah. I was gonna, yeah, you know, it it doesn't even fucking matter. I, I have done that though. It does matter. I want to know where this is going. What were we That's even it. talking about? That's it. I was just saying nub he man. could stick hand, pencils man. and shit through his skin like we did with the little safety pins. There, I'll say that. Mm, that worked? Okay. You feel better? Yeah. Do you think he's ever, like, right. fucking rammed a pussy with that nub? Just That's what I was kind of wondering. Like, 100%. Big old gaping like, asshole. Uh, like I mean, if you, if you got it, use it, right? Yeah. I feel like if you had nub hands, you'd kind of be obligated to ram yeah. a pussy with it. Yeah. Like, I can't finger you, but I can I can do slightly better. I can better. nub you to death, baby. One yeah. huge finger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got three dicks, Five bitch. normal ones? <laughs> Wait, what's the second? Dude, one of the pink, the one of the Steve would go crazy with that guy. <laughs> Dude, she'd die. <laughs> <laughs> she'd have a whole ham in every hole. You could yeah. walk her around like a fucking puppet. <laughs> just to lift the bitch up. Some two nubs <laughs> just walking her around. <laughs> What the fuck, man? man? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's hot. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that's hot. <laughs> thinking, about about a, thinking about a defiled human arm going I'm thinking inside. about cutting my hands off to do this. <laughs> Honestly, might just lose them both. Yep. Yeah. Guitar yeah. and yeah, all, everything all your, I love. Your years of guitar. Puppet <laughs> puppeteering a woman with my nub hand. <laughs> Do have your whole career for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, incredible! Shit. I gotta go make my penis leak. I'll be right back. I think it's oh, okay. time to. <laughs> I mean, we could just yeah, we could just uh, end it. I suppose. An hour. I kind of want right. to talk to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think his story is? What do you think happens to him? What's up, man? How you been? For the the Why non visual. Oh yeah, I forgot there's it's still a, a podcast. A, yeah, yeah, there's a gorilla on the screen. Yeah. Tarambe. He has a name, you son of a bitch. It's Dale. Yeah. Dale the monkey. <laughs> it's a baby Dale. <laughs> baby Dale. Baby Dale. That's what Dale grew up to look like. That is POV every single person named Dale. Okay, should we end it instead of staring at the monkey more? I kind of enjoy staring, but we can okay, end we it. Can, I understand. Yeah, we, can, we can quietly look at the monkey. I'm okay with that. All right. You're telling an ADHD guy to sit still and not make a sound. Monkey. I mean, you can still make sounds. You can stare. If we listen sounds. closely, we might hear do flush his toilet. Yeah. Oh, good call. I want to hear him fart. <laughs> Just one of those, like, bassy piss farts. Those are the best. <laughs> Dude, those are wild. I feel extremely relieved after I piss fart. <laughs> it's better than farting. I want that piss. to be on my bumper Tell sticker. <laughs> <laughs> piss and farts a ten out of ten. Fart no piss is a one out of ten. I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh man. Have you ever seen like somebody have like a nice car and they just ruin it with like bumper stickers? I think uh, almost any car gets ruined with bumper stickers, honestly. 
Well, I have a uh, I have a big titty anime girl on the inside rear trunk of my Porsche, and nice. uh, I learned recently that she's 16 in in anime lore. So okay, yeah, uh, not too happy about that. I didn't put her there. Uh, poop guy put her there, and uh, I, I allowed him to. I lost a bet, and he put it there. And yeah, now there's you got trolled. Yeah. yeah, I did. Oh, <laughs> dude's, dude's oh, back. The monkey's talking. He's talking. <laughs> She's, oh, he sounds nervous. He only has He's one warning note. us about a three-year-old. He's monotone. Oh, Damn. Damn. He's a drum set. He's got bars. <laughs> he just beat his okay, chest for All right, so if you should probably do the outro. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for out. listening <laughs> to the Goons Vocals. Sounds like those late night like birdhouse building shows on local TV. <laughs> what? <laughs> just a blown out laugh, Mike. Birdhouse building. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, ooh, ooh, this was uh, a podcast, uh, wasn't it? Okay. We talked for about 60 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, goodbye.